It is July 29th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec Site in St. Simon Sound. And high and tight, we see that chain through the Wildcat block, and you can just really see how it's walked across the deck. We've got some more stuff here. We're going to have some uh, shots coming up where we can see the chain inside the hull, um, and you, you're going to be able to see just how far along they've advanced. Um, the speed of this cut has been uh, spectacular. We hope it can continue. And if it does, uh, this piece will probably be cut very soon. But as they advance, uh, you know, the wildcat block, once they put up, it kind of controls the angle of the chain uh, and allows uh, them to continue uh, cutting aggressively. Uh, with the uh, with that anchor chain just kind of slicing through the ship, and it it's it would appear so far that they have been able to avoid any uh, main structure down there. You know they they fought they fought this thing on several of these sections, trying to get them separated, uh, getting caught into some really uh, thick stuff, some reinforced metal in some places. But uh, it looks like they may may have uh, hit hit the mark correctly on this cut, and uh, really really making some tremendous tremendous headway. As we got around, you could see uh, that the uh, top chain is really starting to walk uh, across there. Uh, the the hull chain. The hull side, it seems to be kind of right in that space. But once we get in here and start looking at these pictures of the chain, you can just see really how far it's advanced uh, through that ship. They are, they are really a good, a good portion uh, through this uh, Golden Ray section here and um, looking, looking to see uh, it advance even quicker. You know, as, they, uh, as the angle starts to change, you really start to see that chain rise uh, through those through those deck systems, and it looks like they've they've figured out this cut pretty well. But here we can see that chain just very very easily here. And now in the next side here, we can go in and just faintly you can see it and see how far you can really tell now there how far across that chain's got. Well, out on the sound, and this is more over towards the Jekyll side of. Uh, of the sound. We did see the blue grapple loader in action, but it was in the process of unloading uh, the hopper barge and putting the, uh, the vehicles back on uh, the bigger hopper barge. You know, they take this smaller barge into the environmental barrier and it has these four long spuds on it and they're able to put it in there and uh, secure it down in there where it doesn't move around and they have a a stable platform to load. They'll load them here and then uh, move them from the smaller hopper barge onto this larger barge. And this is the process that we saw going on. We thought maybe that would be inside the environmental barrier today working on uh, that piece of section four. But no, they were, they were moving some some of some of these cars around and we think now we're just thinking here that we may see uh, the grapple back inside the environmental barrier maybe tomorrow working on uh, those vehicles that are inside of that section four get in there and try to uh, lighten up the ship load light, lighten up that section as much as they can but here we see the grapple most of the cars that we saw uh, being moved out of here it looked like they had some pretty significant uh, uh, burn uh, injuries on them, if you will. Uh, no tires, uh, just rusted shells of vehicles. And that seemed to be what uh, the majority of what we saw them kind of moving around. So uh, naturally, we like watching the grapple work. So enjoy a little bit of this while this grapple moves these uh, cars from one hopper barge to the other.
Now we saw today they were uh, working uh, one of the current busters over at the uh, barge. Uh, so that's another reason we think they're really getting close to having this thing cut. And we expect to see this current buster placed uh, on, at the apex of the environmental barrier on the east and west side. It'll help collect oil should any, any be lost in the environmental barrier once that separation happens. Hey, we think we may have found the youngest member of the Menorcan Navy. This was sent to us, and we just couldn't resist it. Progress on Section 6 continues. You can see here from this shot just how far the offshore... Hey, Menorcan Navy. Captain Mandy coming to you from the Menorcan Mullet. And it looks like some tremendous progress is happening out at the site. Things go the way they kind of look right now. We can see the separation of Section 6 pretty soon. So, fingers crossed. Good luck. Sent out there to all those crews. They can get this thing separated without any, any major setbacks or delays. They're really making some good progress from what we saw today. Hey, we're going to want to remind you that if you haven't done it, click on that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Let them know you like us. Keep those comments coming. And most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.